Hi guys, I'm back. I'm sorry you have missed me for a week or two. Um, little Elabella got sick, and then of course I got sick a week later. So I have been really quite sick this past week, week and a half. So I'm feeling a little better. I'm getting restless in the house. I haven't painted in a while. So I thought what we would do is try out. Uh, this is a different paint than I usually use that I was sent a while back and I thought I would use it today. Uh, the colors are really, really bright and pretty. So um, that's what this color is. This is the diazin, dioxazine violet. Um, let me see how pretty that is. This brand is called Creative Inspirations. So we're going to try that today. I'm going to run through the colors real quick for you. Like I said, we've got the dioxazine violet. Say that three times in a row quickly. Sky blue. This pink right here is the quinacridone rose. Another one of those fun names. Uh, red, permanent red. Light green. Cerulean blue. Phthalo blue. Purple Lake, and last but not least, Cad Yellow, which is the same as Cadmium Yellow. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, we're going to try doing all colors, no black, no white. Um, somebody asked me if it mattered, if you had, um, do you need it white for the base to create good cells? And of course I said, no you don't. Um, so we're going to <laughs> Hopefully we're going to prove that today. I have silicone in all my colors, and we're just going to do we're going to do five flip cups. And these cups are really way too big, but I am all out of my little cups, so we're just going to try uh, these big ones. I think I really would rather have smaller cups, but I don't have any smaller cups. And I'm not going to do this in any particular order. And I'm not going to be real neat about it. Because um, sometimes when I do it, when I layer them real nice and neat, when I pull the flip cup back out, I sort of have this one section in the middle and then another section over here and another section over here. and. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to see if maybe I can get these to not be so, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, not be so perfect, I guess, maybe. Let's go for some red. And if you don't want to watch this, just fast forward through all this pouring excitement. Hopefully I won't knock them over. Oh, that one, that phthalo blue is a little thick. I've never just sort of gone willy-nilly all over the place with them like this, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> We got the cerulean blue. Actually, I think this one is the lighter blue. I want to say sky blue. And I want to have a little bit of this left over because I want to do another painting after this at some point.
Sorry if you hear my heater in the background. Oh, let's do some more red. This is some brown right there. It's something, probably the green and something else is mixed together. Not real thrilled about that. But brown is nice too. And I didn't mix up any brown because I knew I was probably going to get brown. And I don't want to add any extra. Okay, this is going to be plenty of brown. I mean, plenty of paint. So I think we're going to just leave it at that. Maybe. No, nope, that's plenty of paint. I'll start from this end. <laughs> Oh, let's we'll do this from this side. Okay. Well, the cups sure are pretty. I'm going to give it a second because there's a lot of paint in there and I want it to all come down. Because, um, like I said, I didn't have any smaller cups, so I only have like, you know, half the cups filled. Boy, that is bright. These colors are really bright. We'll see how they dry. Very pretty. That would kind of be cool if you just sort of scraped this all over the canvas and then let it dry. It could be a really cool background for something. It looks kind of jungly. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and do that across. of mixing kind of dark a lot of brownish well that red is very bright okay let's torch like I said I've never used this paint this brand paint before so <laughs> the cells I'm not real impressed with at the moment Lots of air bubbles popping. I think we can probably take these cups off now. getting real big cells but this is really pretty right through here it's very sort of galaxy looking that green and that purple are not wanting to be not wanting to mix together which is a good thing I mean the little cells that are popping up are pretty but I tell you I'm not getting much cell action okay well Let's um <laughs> let's tilt this I guess. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get a piece of newspaper because I really don't want this all over the plastic because I really would like to try to um, paint something else on this plastic without having to wash it all off. So I apologize to those of you who absolutely do not like me using newspaper. I'm sorry. Hopefully you'll forgive me. Okay. Well, it really is. Those are really pretty little caterpillar cells right there. And just that phthalo blue is beautiful. And those cells are pretty. I've got some pretty cells, but nothing big like I was hoping for. I don't want to tilt it too fast. I don't want to squash all of those cells. I really want to kind of preserve that. So I'm going to get a maybe a side catcher.
kind of tilt it very slowly. Because like I said, I don't want to, I don't want to make my cells go, you know, that weird shape, the Pac-Man shape as I call it. Well, the cells are stretching a little bit. That's good. That's good. It's kind of the colors have kind of mixed, but I think it kind of toned down some of that brightness a little bit, which I kind of like. The bright is really bright. I've still got a lot of paint on here, so I'm not worried about. I mean, these cells have grown. They look pretty. Let's go down to the end here. And then we'll sort of take it side to side. I really want to get, I definitely want to get rid of that and that and this. Because that's where we have the cup sitting in it. It does not look pretty. I really want to tilt it off of this side. The cells are growing. They look they're looking pretty. There we go. Let's bring it back. All right, now we're going to have to take it off of this side. So Or get off of. Uh, I got a lot of paint over on the right side. I really need to get something so it'll pull that off. Let's get a palette knife and we can pull some of that paint off. That's what we have. That way it'll. Invite it to come off of the corner. That's exactly what we want. And don't worry about how ugly it is, it'll come off those corners. Not too fast though, we don't want to stretch out those weird those cells too much. Come on. There it goes. Okay, let's bring it back. Now I need it to go off of the other corner here before I lose too much pretty. Okay, there we go. Now I want it to go off of the other side. Boy, those cells are getting stretched, but they're still pretty. galaxy looking. Well, that is going to bother me, so I'm going to sort of, while we're moving the paint around, that way it won't, it won't look like we did it on purpose. I really don't want that. I don't want to lose that corner right there. Um, let's torch it again while we're still moving it. Popping lots of bubbles. Lots and lots and lots of bubbles. That's what's making all these specks everywhere is all the bubbles popping. Okay, now let's 
see what we can do with this side. Okay, now we need to get some paint over here on this corner to drag that off. It doesn't want to come off. See how much easier it is to convince it to go off that corner. Okay, so now we're losing lots of pretty, so let's bring it back. Oh, I don't want to move it back too far because it does not want to. Yeah, let's put some paint on this corner again because I stuck my finger on it and it does not want. Let's put some pretty color on this corner. There we go. Okay, my troll corners are covered. They are. Well, it's pretty. I have some big cells. Okay, I'm not saying that it's not pretty. It is. Well, let's take the torch to it one more time and see if we can't get any more cells to go up. But I think that's going to be about it. I like this half of it. I don't like this half of it. It's boring. But see, these little cells right here were air bubbles. So if you destroy, you know, you pop your air bubbles halfway through, you're tilting, your air bubbles will help you have bigger cells as well. But I'm not, you know, normally when I do this, I get more cell action through. But I'm just, I'm not getting a lot. You kind of jump at it. It'll bring up some cells, as you can see right there. I don't know if you can see that. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It depends on, you know, what's under it. You see, you can see these little bitty ones coming up. Give it a little more interest in some areas that need some, <laughs> some interest. But don't overdo it because, you know, you want some more solid areas as well. But some of your areas are just ugly, so you want to get rid of them. Like this green area through here, I really don't like it. I wish something else would come through it, but it doesn't want, seem to want to. See, we got some yellow ones coming up over here in this corner. But you don't want to do this too much because you know you don't want to burn your paint, obviously. Because for one thing, it leaves a a lovely patch of um, dry film over your painting, and then your painting will dry flat. But also, it releases more fumes that you don't want to be breathing in.
Look at the colors that come up through there. They're kind of neat. Mm -hmm. And some more come up over here. Kind of. okay. We're getting a little bit in there. A little bit of lighter color coming up through there, which is good. Mm -hmm. Which one? This? Right there? Don't put your fingers near it. You don't want to burn your little fingertips off. <laughs> I saw that. I know, isn't that cool? I love it when those little bitty cells come up sometimes. Alright, this green is really bothering me. Nothing will come up through it. Unless you splatter paint on it. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that because I'll probably ruin the whole piece. <laughs> this is a new brand. Mm. Let's see what color that green is. Night green. Nice. Yeah. Well, this would, I think this would make a cool background for something. I like the purple. The light purple. And the purple. Not the... Dioxazin violet? Wow, you pronounced that really well. <laughs> Dioxazin? Better than I pronounced it. Okay, I think we're about done killing this poor painting with the heat. It just is that. Every other color wants to. That, that green must be really light. Every other color is coming up, is letting the colors come through it, but that green just doesn't want to, so it's probably just a really uh, lightweight paint. Okay, well I'm not sure we proved our point here, just because, like I said, this is the first time I've used this painting. Um, you're probably screaming at me, put the torch down, but I kind of like all these little bitty cells everywhere. Okay, that's going to be it. I'll get you down so you can at least see it a little closer. And I think it's pretty though. All right, so here we are. You can see those little bitty cells that came up with quite a bit of torching. But the bigger cells were pretty. You know, they, they got bigger as we stretched them. I like all those little bitty cells in the, the colors that sort of wisped together. Well, that's a pretty cell. A Inside cell, inside cell. Looks like, um, this kind of looks like space rocks. Space debris. Little asteroids. There's a big pretty cell. Or rivers of cells all over the place. And there's an eyeball, kind of. Oh look, there's like, it looks like, um, Saturn. <laughs> Either that or the Jetsons. A uh, little spacecraft. Well, oh, there's a big old fat caterpillar up there. So if you look really close, I mean, it's really pretty. But like I said, I think it would be good for, say, like a uh, a background for something, maybe a multimedia piece. Maybe like um, kind of like the tree I did with the wire. We might have to do that again. Okay, let's see. Everything went over the side beautifully. All the beautiful patterns. You don't see any cells over there. I'll run my torch across it um, just to see, but that's kind of a pretty view right there. Okay, we'll put you back up. Okay, so here's your pretty for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's dark, but it, I think it's still pretty. I like it. Uh, like I said, I think I'm, I maybe make this a multimedia piece, maybe another tree. At some point, eventually. Okay, well, thank you for all my subscribers, all my viewers. Thanks everyone for anyone who has donated to my channel. Um, or sent me gifts in the mail. Sent me some goodies. I love you all. Um, I promise I will get back to your emails. I know I haven't emailed in several weeks, but uh, I'm sorry. 
I have really not been feeling well. <laughs> well and, uh, you know, with the kids sick in the house, it, it's hard to get, get to that kind of stuff, you know. Family comes first. You guys know that. All right. So, thank you, everyone. Um, I hope wherever you are on the planet, you're having an awesome afternoon, day, evening, or night. And I hope everyone is happy and healthy. See you later. Bye.